Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to create a simple blockchain in Go. So what we are going to do is using Go to create a custom types where we can define the block type in Go. So let's see how we can create a blockchain in less than five minutes. We can have a struct block timestamp time dot stand transactions string and we would only and we will we are keeping it very basic previous hash again byte and hash even that byte okay and then we can have our main function and for our understanding we will be using abc so abc string we can say a send 50 coins to bc okay and let's xyz xyz block abc comma byte now we can say fm t dot print line this is our first block and we can say so we would need a function called print xyz okay now let's copy this and we can create one more. we will keep keep it very simple we will have only two blocks we can name it as pqrs and here we can say pq send 30 coins to 30 coins to rs we can say pqrs and we would need our previous hash so x y z dot hash and this is our second and here here we can change this to klmn and here this kl okay and now let's have the block from this function blocks that will have transaction string comma previous hash to hash byte block current time to time dot now return block so we'll have time stamp current time um, transactions transactions prev hash prev hash hash new, new hash that will have current time comma transactions comma previous hash okay, and now we can have our function this new hash function we have to define that it's a time time dot time more transactions string comma prev hash byte byte and in both append we will have prev hash comma time dot string for transactions transactions input equals to append in comma string or transactions hash sha to fifty six sum to fifty six we can say that will return hash then we will have our print function this print block block fmt dot printf time comma block dot timestamp dot string prev hash block dot prev hash t hash comma block dot hash and we can say transaction block now we would need a final function of transaction block block fmt dot print line transaction for i comma transaction range block dot transaction printf transaction that's for transaction 
Okay. Now let's run this. Go run mail.co. Perfect. So now we have a very simple example where previous hash for the first one is empty. Hash and that will take as a previous hash and a new hash. A sent 50 coins to BC. So guys, this was a very simple example of using blockchain in Go. And the best part is it's very easy to create a blockchain in Go. So guys, if you like my video, do like, share and subscribe to my channel. Thank you for watching.